Hello and welcome to a DITV Sports Update. I'm Mike Wollen. It's Valentine's Day and where else should you take your date? But Carver Hawkeye Arena, Iowa, Michigan State, Tom Izzo, Steve Alford, hugs and kisses before the game. Iowa's first possession, Hanson, lazy pass, Paul Davis steps in front of it, takes it coast to coast, easy two. The big man Davis then steps outside, foot on the line, two points, good. Michigan State started out on an 8-2 run. Adam Aleska takes the hard foul, gets up, he's all right, he'll shake it off. Hawks down five, Jeff Horner catch and shoot, Moreno. Two possessions later, Iowa swings the ball, and Horner finds Doug Thomas. That's his role, come in and energize the crowd, uh, get it going with some dunks, uh, get some rebounds in there, and uh, you know he's a great teammate to have, he's an athlete, and uh, you know it's, it's, it's fun playing with him, because uh, when you got a guy like that, uh, you're not afraid to throw a lob up there. All tied up, Horner finds a streaking Bruner, who slams it down, Iowa leads 17 to 15. A sellout crowd of 15,500 enjoyed the action. Horner drives lane, finds Hanson for the 10-footer. Hawkeyes lead by four at half. Second half, Maurice Ager airballs it. Mike Henderson gets the rebound, coast to coast. Tries to kiss it off the backboard, but Eric Hanson's there for the tip in. Then Horner, free throw line, finds Haleska. Horner's fifth assist of the game sets a new career assist record at Iowa. But Horner wasn't done, nailing not one, but two threes to put Iowa up by five with 11 to play. Oh. Hawkeye fans showing their love on Valentine's Day but Michigan State would stick around with the help of Shannon Brown, nailing the 15-foot fadeaway. How would the Hawks respond? But of course, give the ball to Jeff Horner. Horner nails the three. Horner shot four for six beyond the arc for the game, three for four in the second half. Then Alex Thompson comes up with the steal, feeds it ahead to Tony Freeman, who finds Adam Aleska for the streaking two. Hawkeyes lead 11 with eight to play. Four minutes to play, Doug Thomas steps in front of the pass, takes it coast to coast, and shows why he's the best dunker in the Big Ten. <laughs> Iowa cruises to a 12-point win, 66-54. Four out of five starters drop double digits, and Iowa stays in first place, and they stay undefeated. A, a tremendous, tremendous win uh, for our program and for our team. Uh, we're in the midst of a special journey and trying to win something. Uh, very proud of our team knowing that uh, in the last couple of years they've been battling like crazy with a lot of heat on them to make the tournament this time of year and uh, I think they've pretty solidified that. I think they, they know that they're playing for something even more special uh, and that's a conference championship and uh, we're talking about the best league in the country and we got her to nine, we got four left and uh, it's going to be an incredible uh, uh, battle, but th this was a big hurdle, and um, we beat an outstanding basketball team tonight, and uh, very happy for our guys. If we keep winning, uh, there's no way anybody can catch us, so uh, we just got to put it on our shoulders and uh, you know, take, take every game we have and, and try to get a win. It's, it was what we needed. Um, now we just got to look on Minnesota. They're an amazing team. Uh, Minnesota's going to come out and fight. The way they've been playing lately, it, I, I, I'm really uh, looking forward to going up there and playing. This has been a DITV Sports Update.